Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to be taking another look at a volume from the Eastern Press. This is Oedipus the King. Uh, as you can see here, this is Oedipus the King there. And then in the Greek, as you can tell, this is more of a burgundy uh, leather uh, with the embossing around, with the laurel wreath around, and the same design on the back. Like all other Eastern Press, it comes with the gilded paper edges as well as a ribbon marker. So let's jump into the volume here. You can see these uh, light uh, flesh tone, maybe pink, silk moire end papers. Just like all Eastern Press, it comes with end papers. I bought this secondhand, so it comes. It came with um, a personalized end plate. Um, I have a few of them with these end plates. I'm gonna eventually. Uh, take them off. I found the way to safely uh, remove them without leaving any trace that it was on there. So as you can see here, Oedipus the King. It's part of the 100 Greatest Books Ever Written series. And then you go. You see a picture uh, of Sophocles here, who is the, of course, the author of this play. And what's interesting about this particular volume is that um, there's the original Greek text followed by the English translation. So we're going to take a look at that right now. So let's just jump in. As you can see this front page here, you see the original Greek text uh, and then the English translation here. So here's the preface and let's just go into the original, uh, into the text. So here we go. As you can see, Greek and then English. And it just continues throughout the entire um, the entire book. I um, read this for the first time, although we talk about it a lot uh, in class, especially in my classics classes. I read it uh, on my own without you know them forcing us to read it. And um, I actually really like to play. Of course, it's a classic. Everybody has heard of it at least, even if they haven't read it. And I guess they understand. Um, the basic of uh, what the plot is about, given you know Freud's theory of the Oedipus complex, um, so they have an, uh, somewhat of an understanding. But um, the text is rich, the story is magnificent. Uh, it's a timeless classic. So as you can see at the beginning of each episode, you have a little portrait, and we get to the end, and the same silk more end papers. Uh, you can still find this particular volume. I don't think Easton Press. I may be wrong, still sells individually. I haven't seen it on their website, but uh, if you go on AB Books, you can easily find it on eBay. It's one of the more uh, readily available volumes, so I think you can pick it up. Last time I've seen it for around 20, 20 US dollars, maybe 30 at most. It's one of the more common volumes, but I, uh, I do recommend this since it is easy to pick up. It's pretty cheap, um, and it's actually a pretty easy read. Um, so that's Oedipus the King. Uh, I'll continue doing more book reviews. I should be getting some more in soon. Uh, watch out for my other Folio Society and Eastern Press books. I'm looking for some additional Franklin Library books, the ones from the pre-80s when they were really high quality before the business um, shut down. Uh, once I get those in, I'll do some more reviews, of course, for you guys. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, keep on reading.